Dr. John McDougall. Dr. McDougall has been studying, writing, and speaking out about the effects of nutrition on disease for over 20 years. Dr. McDougall is a graduate of Michigan State University's College of Human Health and completed his medical internship at the Queens Medical Center and his residency at the University of Hawaii. He is a board certified internist and was once a staff physician at the Castle Medical Center on Oahu in Kailua. My name is John McDougall. People bargain with me all the time. They, they come to me and they say, you know, I'm ready to change my diet, but just not completely. So I'll just make some small changes. What do you suggest I give up? You know, should I give up cigarettes or should I give up whiskey? Should I give up dairy or should I give up beef? It's a hard one. But sometimes I have to help them make those kinds of decisions. And one of the hardest decisions for women to make is to give up the dairy group. Men can do it. Yeah. I think it's a gender thing. I hope I don't offend anybody here, but I think it's a gender thing. What I find is that men will tell me that they can give up milk and cheese, no problem at all, but not their meat. And what do women say? I've seen this over the years, and actually there have been psychological studies to confirm what I have observed, and that is that women have trouble giving up the dairy, don't they? And, you know, it's, I think it's because it's kind of a, a traditional woman kind of thing. You know, it's associated with, uh, with mothering, with nurturing. It's a domestic thing. Remember, women used to stay around the, the village and milk the cows. It's kind of a homegrown type thing, dairy products. It's a, it's a, a, a home-associated industry, family-oriented. And, of course, who gets the bulk of the advertising messages from the dairy industry? It's women. You've got to drink it for your bones. That's the primary selling message out there. And so women have the most difficult time giving up the milk. But with that in mind, if you were going to bargain with me and you were going to ask, what of the basic four food groups should I give up? You remember the old basic four food groups? Advertising dairy and meat and vegetables and fruits to you? An advertisement, by the way, usually put out by the dairy industry. If you bargained with me and you said, for my better health, for the health of my family, which of the four groups should I give up? Obviously, it wouldn't be the fruit and vegetable, would it? But when it came to the dairy and the meat group, I'd tell you, give up the dairy. Why? Because it has similar problems, as I showed you the macronutrient content, as the meat groups. But it has additional problems, such as the autoimmune and the allergy problems. But the biggest problem is that you believe it's health food. And so you eat it without guilt. And you feed it to your kids that way. And that's very wrong. So I hope I've given you a chance to rethink this. Not only are dairy products not necessary for your health and bones, they're also destructive to your family. And it may be the most difficult message for you to get because there's been so much education, so much effort, so much money putting behind trying to give you the other message. But I promise you that it will be the greatest benefit to you and your family if you can get this correct. You are not a cow. Your children are not calves. You should not be consuming cow's milk. It is a serious health hazard. Thank you very much.